What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video, y'all. We gotta have a conversation, man. We gotta talk. Um, hold on, I'm making it right now. Yeah, I just literally... Yeah, probably like, damn, DDG, you didn't forgot about us, man. We we a YouTube family. We didn't... We the reason you lit. Boom, boom, whoop, whoop. Some of that may be true. Some of it may not. But, um... It's really just, I've literally just been being a dad, y'all. And it's kind of been hard for me to like juggle a lot of stuff. I'm, I'm learning though, I'm, I'm trying to get back to it. And I had an epiphany yesterday. And I said, you know what, bro, I need to get back on YouTube, man. I'm all here bullshit, man. Y'all, y'all forced to watch other niggas y'all don't want to watch. Y'all acting like y'all like them. When y'all know y'all just been, y'all just, it's like, I'm like a girl that, I'm like a girl that you can't get over. So you can't get over me so much that you try to look for me and other people and you just can't find it. So you end up depressed and sad and shit, cutting your wrist, whatever, whatever you do when you sad, when you go through a breakup. And I'm, now I'm the girl coming back to you and be like, you know what, I'm gonna fuck with you again. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna come back into your life and make you, make you happy once again like I used to. So. I know I said this maybe like a few weeks ago or some shit like that, but I mean it today. I genuinely mean it. Put the soap in the, the nipple. I know a lot of y'all parents don't even be doing that shit. Y'all don't even care about the sanitary shit for y'all kids, bro. Hold on, man. You want me to get you right or you want me to get you halfway right? I know bacteria in my son, man. He gonna be fully healthy. My son also going to the league, y'all. I had a conversation with him yesterday. And I told him he going to the league. He said, all right, pops. I'm gonna go crazy, so. He working on that right now. He's working on his shot earlier. But I'm gonna start vlogging this type of stuff. Cause I don't be knowing, do y'all be wanting to see dad content or is that some boring shit to y'all? Like, y'all wanna see me make a bottle? I feel like Snapchat see me make a bottle every day, but I be forgetting some of y'all don't even got Snapchat on y'all phone no more. So, you know, I don't want to do too much. Also, I got him a new guitar. I'm saying, teaching him how to play guitar and shit. Woo! You ready to make your dad have some beats so your daddy can get another hit? Yeah, I know. I know. So there's the champ in there, y'all. Y'all know his face is sacred. Um, I will do a. A total disclaimer right now, he's a very handsome young man. Very handsome baby, ain't he Johnny? Be yeah. yeah, yeah. He's a good looking baby. That is not the reason we're high in his face. 100,000% that's not the reason. Like, it's just people is just weird, you know? And people getting frustrated because I won't take a blur off of his face. It's not your child. Why are you getting frustrated like I owe you his face? That makes zero sense. But You wanna do a little YouTube video with your dad dad? Cause your dad dad falling off on YouTube. Can you help your dad dad get back on? Huh? Can you help your dad dad get back lit? Yes or no? Huh? Oh, okay. That's all it was. He just had to burp. It's crazy. That all they be wanting is the little shit. They want to get burp. He want to just throw up all over me. All right. All right. You know, back in the day when like, like I used to, t I remember TT was this little, like my little sister, she was this small. If she threw up on me, I'd damn near swing on her. Might knock her ass out. But when he throw up on me, it's like, oh, I just put this shirt on, but it's cool. You know, he ain't mean it. It's okay, you can throw up again if you need to, baby. The other day though, y'all, right here. If you look over here at that table right there, right? It used to be a cover on that. It used to be a cover on that little uh, little pillow shit. Kid you not, bro. I cannot exaggerate this at all. We was upstairs. Let me turn this bullshit off. We was upstairs, and he started farting, right? So he started farting. That's cool. But when he started grunting, like, <clears throat> that means shit. So I come down here to change his diaper, right? And I change his diaper. I take the diaper off. There's a little bit of doodle in there, right? All right, cool. Take the diaper off, get the doodle, boom, boom, put the other diaper on them. The moment I'm 
transitioning to the other diver, this nigga said, mm, shoots a turd on the wall. From here, listen, no exaggeration, bro. He's laying right here. This nigga shot a turd, a projectile turd, from here to here, bro, and hit the fucking wall. I don't know how he did it, but it was okay, man. I wasn't mad at him or nothing. I said, you know what? That just means you're getting stronger. You got grown-up shit, but I just been being a dad, y'all. We just really just be chilling and shit. We don't be doing too much, but let me go ahead and get this damn throw up on him real quick. Don't be mad, man. I'm trying to clean up. You want to be clean or what? <laughs> Show them how tall you is. Yeah, man. You you almost 20, 20 inches. No, you're 23 inches. That means you a foot. You a, you 111. Woo! Going to the league, boy. Get tall. Yeah. Let's go. Woo. Oh! I like to play one on one with him sometimes just to get him into the dynamic of of hooping. And I was telling him, I don't want to bring keep bringing up Snapchat on here. I feel like y'all get jealous, but I do be on Snapchat a lot. And I was telling him, I was like, man, like my only dream was to be on my high school basketball team. Like I never wanted to go to the NBA ever in my life. But like a real dream job of mine was to be on my high school basketball team. And I never made it. So I just tell him all the time, like, bro, if you're gonna do anything for your dad, I don't, I'm not that type of dad. I'm not no damn Joe Jackson. I'm not gonna be forcing him to do some shit that he don't wanna do. I'm not gonna be telling him, oh, you have to do this or you're a failure. He's, a, he's gonna be silver spoon. Like, that's a given. Whatever he wants, he's gonna get. If he never wants to work a day in his life, he don't have to. I don't believe in rich parents making their kids work harder than they have to. Fight me about it. He's gonna be rich for the rest of his life, forever. So it's his choice whether he wanna be a hard worker and create his own lane for himself or not. But I told him, if you don't do nothing in life, if you be a, a, a zero heir, if you, if you don't make no money, if you don't got no job, you ain't got no license till you're 28, just make the high school basketball team. That's literally all I told him. That's all I want from him, and I'm cool. I just want to go to a game and see him. He, he can be a bench warmer. He don't even have to be star player, none of that shit. Hit a layup for me. It's going to literally make my entire life. So just be trying to help him. You excited? You going to do that for me? You gonna make the basketball team or what? My son's super light skinned. He got his mama color. I don't know if he gonna get darker or not. If there's any parents watching this right now, is this the end of his color or is he gonna get darker? Yo, light skinned boy, man. Mm. That's how you shoot. That's how you shoot. Let me show you something else. Let me take him to Take him to the uh, take him to the corner, man. Watch this though. Watch this corner layup, Halo. Hey, watch this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't laugh, don't laugh, don't laugh, don't laugh. You know what I'm saying? That's how you do it. So when you go to tryouts, you tell your coach to let you get to the block. Once you get to the block, this is the block right here. When you get to the block, catapult, you do like this, and you come up the bottom. You automatically gonna make the team. It ain't about you going crazy, it's just tryouts making the team. I don't care if you do crazy on the game, but tryouts, you gotta do the fancy shit. And you gotta, and you gotta ball off. Make sure you never pass that bitch when you Finally get to try out. All right, y'all, I'm sitting here with Halo. He kicking it, chilling right now, relaxing with his daddy. We do this all the time. Um, but we're going to do a Q&A. He's a little tired right now, so he, he's napping. Um, but I'm going to still ask him and see if he wants to respond. If he doesn't, then don't take it personal. Uh, 
What's your favorite song to play or sing to Halo for bedtime? I guess this is a question for me and Hallie. Uh, I rap, I'm geeking, and he goes to sleep. I don't know if that's like a good thing or a bad thing, but I rap, I'm geeking to him. I'm on a whole nother level, I'm geeking. You think you fucking with me, boy? When we get in the song with G Herbo very, very soon, I gotta get it cleared with the sample. If y'all know what I'm talking about, go to my Instagram, my last post, and go listen to the song, the little snippet. What's your favorite thing about being a dad? My favorite thing about being a dad is watching them do little things and grow. Um, when he stands up, when he farts, when he throws up, when he makes little noises, it makes me excited. Um, I can't wait for the day that he starts talking and walking and crawling. I can't wait till he cares about having fun. And then I feel like that's when I'm going to have fun because I want to take him to Disneyland right now. But I know he don't give a fuck. Like, let me tell you a quick little story. He got invited to Kylie Jenner's son birthday party. So we took him. And I'm talking about this was the most lit birthday party I ever seen in my life. Roller coasters and shit. Like, the nicest shit ever. Like, crazy, crazy party for a kid. He didn't met. He met Kanye West, he met Kylie Jenner, Kim Kardashian, Travis Scott, you name it. Like, everybody met him, took a picture with him, everything, right? What I kid you not, bro, this nigga slept through the entire party. I'm talking about didn't open his eyes, didn't do nothing, didn't do nothing. Like, he, every time we do something fun and lit, he sleeps. So, I don't even want to waste money on taking him to Disneyland. I know a lot of kids, I mean, a lot of parents do that, but it's like, he don't even know he exists yet. Like, he just, he just literally just here, and we just basically just keeping him alive and feeding him and shit. Like, he doesn't know what's going on. So, um, it's like literally every time we do something fun, he sleeps. I took him on like a little train ride at the mall, he sleeps. And then as soon as we get in the car, he wakes up. Like, I don't know what it is, so... He just like one of those kids that just sleep most of the time. And, you know, it's no point of doing anything fun. And Halo express thoughts on political and economic state of the world right now. How do you feel about the political and ec economic state of the world? He got to figure it out. He don't really know right now. What's Halo's net worth? Right now, Halo is broke. Um... He has zero dollars, uh, but Halo has something coming out very, very soon. Me and him are collabing on something that's been heavy on my heart, heavy on my mind. And uh, my whole goal as a parent, not that money matters, but my one of my biggest goals as a parent is to make him a millionaire before he turns the age of three or four or whatever. I feel like it's going to be before that, but... I'm talking about not my money. Like, he has his own kid's bank account with a million dollars in it. So when he turns 15, 16, whatever, and he start taking girls to the movies and shit, he ain't doing that little baby shit. I want his first date, I want him to take a girl on the jet. He gonna take his girl on the jet and fly her to motherfucking Mykonos and go to dinner out there for prom and shit. Like, that's what he gonna be on. He ain't finna do none of that, none of the shit. That's what I'm saying. I know, nigga. He's like, he, he ain't do nothing. He like, shh. For real. He sleep right now, but he can hear me. So, he ain't doing none of that, that weak ass shit. And I told him that. And I'm like, bro, you don't understand how good you're going to have it as a child. Like, y'all know my childhood. I tell y'all all the time. A lot of y'all been around since I've been in high school and college. But before even that, before I start filming and shit, bro, like, I we really was fucked up. Like, I used to boil water to, y'all yeah, heard Nine Lives, I'm pretty sure y'all heard it. Um, used to boil water to wash our backs and shit. We used to, like, not have no lights and heat and all types of stuff. So it's like, growing up like that, even at one point in time, I was living in my uncle's attic. Like, niggas really came up from nothing. And I don't want him to even know what that's like, point blank period. I don't even want him to even think that far. Like, I want him to think, like, hey, every kid is supposed to grow up like this. I want him to be silver spoon, the silverest spoon you can be. Like, white gold, whatever you want to call it, silver, white gold spoon. I don't want him to want for nothing.
And as a parent, it's my job to make that happen. So I'm going to make sure I make him a millionaire before he even able to sing his ABCs. What do you like going to more, fashion shows or music award shows? I like fashion shows. Um, the award shows be cool. Um, when I go, I'm, I go with Howie, like, you know, so it, it don't be like, I, it's probably a different feeling when you nominate it. Uh, I got zero nominations, but it probably feel good when you nominate it, you know, you get to go there and you got, you got a reason to be there, but you know, music award shows is cool. I love supporting and stuff, but fashion shows to me is better. It's quicker. It's like literally 15, 20 minutes. You dress up, look nice, get nice, boom. You go to the fashion show, you have a great time. You go eat dinner, and then you go out to the after parties. Like, it's a whole long, oh, what's an entire day type of thing, and it's very fun. I feel like it's more, I don't know, it's more fun than music award shows, in my opinion. Are you ever going to reveal Halo's face? Yes, I am. Well, I'm not. See, I'm going to be honest with y'all, bro. I'm going to be transparent. Y'all know me, bro. Y'all know I'm a YouTuber. Like it ain't, it ain't, it ain't a secret, bro. Like I've been, this is how I was able to even afford to live in this big ass crib, or afford to live in LA and everything. So, y'all know I come from YouTube. If y'all been watching me, y'all know I always wanted this little nigga. Like this has always been like a dream of mine. So, um. I was the only reason I was skeptical at first is because I'm like, when babies first come out, they don't be looking that good. They be a little, little funny looking. But when he came out, I'm like, damn, this nigga. I mean, then I went and looked in the mirror, and I'm like, oh, it makes sense. <laughs> you know, I looked at myself and shit. But this is a good looking nigga right here. I know you can't see him right now, but this nigga is a good looking nigga, bro. Like this is a good looking baby. This is like a great looking baby. And, um, you know, I feel like the privacy thing, and people sometimes be tweeting about it, but the privacy thing is kind of more of Hallie's thing. You know, she wants to be more private than me, but me, like, I want to start a gaming channel with him or something. Like, I want to have real father and son time and, and, like, be able to display it. And, you know, coming from content creations, that's what that's what we do. That's what I do. You know, I, I, I be content creator and I I always wanted to make that father son type content so um eventually you know I'm definitely waiting until she's comfortable I don't want to overstep no boundaries you know he did come out of her her hole so you know I can't I can't really overstep too much but um yeah it was you know so we gonna, we gonna get to that point sooner or later you know, when I finally re reveal his face or we finally reveal his face, he probably going to be much older and, you know, looking different. So, but we got millions and millions of pictures of him. So we'd be able to circle back so you can see what he looked like without this blur on his face. Why didn't you shoot a video for Straight Outta Pontiac? I ain't going to lie. That's a crazy question because I low-key was setting up to shoot one. I was going to go back to Pontiac and shoot a damn music video. I never did a hood video. So I always wanted to do one of those, you know, not, not like in that type of way, but like, I feel like I don't go back to Pontiac at all, bro. Like it's literally no reason for me to go back to Pontiac to be a little more personal with y'all because it's been a little minute, but I don't really talk to a lot of my family like that, like back home for real. Um, I'm more of like, like my immediate family really checks in with me. You know, it's, maybe it's just like a disconnect with me and them, but I am very busy. But um, I just don't go back to Pontiac like that, you know, it's, and it's it's no other reason. But it's just like, you know, my mom is here, you know, my dad comes out here and visits all the time. It's like, you know, I my family is, is here, you know, and um, I got a lot of family and cousins and shit back home. But uh, I don't know. But. I did plan on going back to Pontiac, and I wanted to give y'all a vlog, too, like, showing y'all where I'm from. A lot of y'all don't ain't been around that long, like, walking around the hood, showing y'all where I'm from, woo -woo. you know, going back to my old roots, you know, it's been a little minute, so, 
I was actually planning on to shoot that. Y'all let me know, comment below. Is it too late? To sh I go shoot straight out of Pontiac, give y'all a nice vlog in between, and I feel like that would just be a dope little moment. Um, so I'm putting that together right now, actually. That's funny that you said that. When you getting back on Twitch and YouTube grind? Uh, I think the time is now, y'all. I'm not going to lie. I, I was talking to... I was talking to Johnny. He holding the camera right now. Your arm's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I was talking to Johnny and shit, and I was like, man, like music ain't fun by itself, y'all. Like, I can't, I can't change who I am. Like, that's why I'm on Snapchat every day. It's because, bro, I have to create content at some point in time. Like, I cannot not post. Like, whether it's YouTube, Snapchat. TikTok, whatever, bro. Like I hit, I get a fucking high from posting. Like it's what I love to do. So it's like when I'm making music and I'm expected to drop an album once a year or or twice a year or something. It's not the same feeling as dropping a vlog every single day. So it's like I don't get that instant satisfaction that I need of like, hey, I'm in their face or. I always feel like if I'm not posting, somebody is outworking me. Like, I don't like that feeling, and I always like to stay ahead of the curve. So um, I told myself today, I'm like, man, like, I don't like how my music is looking. Like, I enjoy my own music. I believe I make great music. I listen to my old music, and I say, hey, this music is good, but it's not better than my new music. But when I listen to this old music, I get a feeling. You know, it gives me a feeling of nostalgia you know some of my old songs is better i'm not gonna say they not you know but i feel like i make very good music now but it's no it's no meat to it you know it's just like music versus i'm curating a whole feeling for you like i'm i'm in your face you watching my youtube videos every day you watching my snapchat you feeling this you doing this and that you watching me every day, you commenting, and woo woo, I'm doing shows, boom, boom, meet and greets, woo woo, you meet me, seeing me, boom, boom, then I drop a song, bam. Then it's like, okay, cool. This is a whole moment. Like the iCarly freestyle, to me that song was mediocre, but when I listen to it, I'm like, damn, it brings me back to Miami when I'm getting ready for my fight and boxing and I'm training in Palm Springs and this and that, like, it's a feeling that it gives you so I feel like that's what my music is missing it's the feeling it's missing the the, the shit like I I'm past that point now in my career music career where I can't be mysterious y'all like I've tried it doesn't work I can't be mysterious like these other niggas be doing like they started off being mysterious so they can do that. That's their mojo. But me, I always been in the public eye. I always been posting content. I always been keeping y'all updated. So for me to not do that and take that away from y'all, nigga, I better be dropping a collab album with Kanye West, nigga. For me to for make to make that motherfucker really like, you know what I'm saying? So I realized that, and I'm like, you know what, bro? Let me get back on my content shit, bro. And on top of that, the money's amazing. So why am I not doing it? But it ain't about the money. But it's just like. I just see what other content creators doing and I'm like, damn, this is dope. You know, that reminds me of myself and I'm like, maybe I need to get back to that. Maybe that's the happiness that I'm missing. Because sometimes I'll be down and out, you know, because I don't, I don't know if y'all know this or not, but I really be trying with my music, though. And I really put time and effort into it. I really be in the studio rapping for hours and shit and trying to come up with something that y'all would like. And then when I put it out, after all this clearing and buying beats and shooting music videos for hours and y'all don't like it, it's like, damn, bro, like, it's a terrible feeling. So, I feel like I just need to just get back to my roots, you know, and that's kind of why I'm making this vlog today and just getting out there, y'all. I might double upload today, you know. I'm on that type vibe, so we're going to be on it, but. I don't even want to talk y'all head off no more. I ask questions on Twitter if you want to be a part of the next Q&A. Y'all know I do these pretty often when I'm consistent, especially if I ain't got no video ideas. I just throw one out. But, um, yeah, y'all comment below how y'all feel. Uh, 
respond to some of my questions. I would love for y'all to have a little um, conversation, a little, you know, back and forth in the comments. I'm going to read everything. And y'all tell me your own opinions on what we talked about today. You got anything to say, Halo? Yeah, he a little milk drunk. Oh, okay. So he don't want to talk, but he just let you know he here and shit, like shit. So he a little milk drunk right now. He finna take a little nap. So we finna kick it, have some father son time. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Uh, man, I love y'all. I never abandon y'all. I know I've been gone. I know I've been absent, but I'm back. I promise. I'm uploading every day. If I miss a day, get on my ass. All right. I might live stream at some point. I got to figure out how I'm going to get the Twitch in there with me and the dad at the same time. But I'm going to figure it out. I promise. But I love y'all, man. And I'll see y'all in the next video. When I still was out, made that pussy gleek. I done made 500 kids this month. I've been in a jury store this whole week. Playing Jane Rolex, there ain't no Van Cleek. They ain't had no motherfucking money since PPP. Shout out DDG. That bitch give me brain, but she ain't graduate like GED. I hit a hoe, get drunk and forget her name like I got CTE.